from New York City, where he's a global communications specialist and a gardener, right? Tell us about your roses. Yeah, so um, I've become obsessed with growing roses uh, on our little terrace on our building, and um, they are all named after different great women uh, throughout history. So my favorite one is the Julie Andrews tea rose. Um, she's very beautiful. She's practically perfect in every way. Oh, mm. uh, that's great. Do the roses have something to do with the famous woman they're named after? They or? evoke some of their spirit, I think. Um, like think yeah, yeah, you know it when you see it. It's that kind of thing. Got it. Chris Lindsay from Carmel, California is an attorney who once planned an unusual anniversary trip. Yes, uh, my wife and I were engaged for almost two years, so we knew our wedding date more than a year in advance. So I planned this price trip for my wife for our negative first anniversary. Wow. What is the traditional gift on a negative one anniversary? So I think I set the tradition. Um, I gave her an old NPR shirt that she always wanted for pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, so think of yourself. Well, now we know what to give on a negative one anniversary. <laughs> Aiden Orzak is back with us from Thornhill, Ontario, where he's a school teacher. And you keep a collection when you travel, right? What do you collect? Uh, I collect keychains. I uh, have about six or eight carabiners full of keychains. Uh, nowadays they're in a storage locker, but uh, I add one whenever I travel somewhere. What do you actually keep your keys on? What's the prize keychain that carries your keys? I have one that I made in the wood shop, so that connects the car key to the house keys. <laughs> Let's get back into the game. Chris, you gave us the last correct response. Pick a category and a dollar amount. Eight for 800. <laughs>